Uh, today we're actually going to do um, a comparison of some diabetic meters made by True. Uh, this is True Metrics and this is actually a True Test Meter. And I have the True Metrics uh, two batches of that and also just a couple more left of the True Test. And the reason, just a caveat, I'm not diabetic nor pre-diabetic, but I've been just more interested in just analyzing, following my results, because I don't want to be pre-diabetic nor diabetic. But also, it's because um, I counsel patients and I want to kind of see what they're going through and what are the options. The reason why I'm actually doing this test is because this is one of my favorite meters, true results. The reason is because it's very affordable and accurate. Problem is that true um, results made by Nipro is discontinuing this great uh, test strips. And the reason why I like this, especially for a diabetic person, is because it's big. It's pretty easy for people who have a hard time sticking this in a meter. The problem with this true metrics, aside from the first thing you're going to notice is look how tiny it is. It's great, but if you have neuropathy and you have a hard time, especially for seniors, it's going to be hard to put in. But the main thing is because I've done a test and I usually do a test every morning fasting and I'm getting wildly inconsistent results and usually on the high end which makes me question because I've never gotten anything over 90 with true results and I don't think that just changes in a day or two. I haven't changed my diet, I haven't done any of that. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you guys um, what I have in front of me here. We have the true metrics, true result, and we're just going to stick the meters in, the test strips in the meter. using the same finger as you can see bear with me with the glare there if I don't know if you can see that uh, all right lines my finger all right here we'll do true result It doesn't take a lot of blood, so that's the nice thing. And you see 87 right there. And let's see if it gives a similar or different one. 105. That's pretty significant. Let's do the same finger, same blood on the true. Met I don't have enough true. Test strips. I can do another one, but let's do one from this lot. All right. Sorry about that. I'm just kind of fiddling with this. All right. I gotta make sure my finger doesn't. One eleven. 
that's six points right there for you guys to see. That's that's kind of big. And let's do one more. I don't have much of the true results anymore. It's almost my last one. Risk it because I don't think it, the blood is um, is drying off my finger here. So just so you can see. Different lot. So you can see 88, right? That was 105 and 111. And the next two metrics, different lot now, just to see. Ninety-six. That's kind of different compared to one eleven. If you and as you can see it's on the higher end of the spectrum. What tells me is this I might have to take a control solution and test it. Just to let you know this is a brand new meter, um, new battery, all that stuff. So it's not like the battery's low or anything. It tells me that I don't know why I trust true metrics. Now one fourteen same lot very very different so with that being said this although it's being discontinued is as you can see a very accurate and consistent meter this one I really have questions with um, as far as the accuracy especially on the low end I will be contacting the customer support, 1-800-803-6025, and asking them if they could send me another meter or, or some control solution so I can do some testing on my own. Uh, with that being said, thanks for following, uh, watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will try my best to tell you all the different tests that I've done on these meters and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good day.